Hi, my name is Metzger Kennedy. During this demonstration, I will be showing you how Sage HR can help you manage your people data and processes easily so that you can focus on your business. Today, we will focus on Core HR and the Leave module. It can be accessed via the web browser as I'm doing now, or you can download the app for iOS or Android. Within the Core platform, you would have access to the following tabs on the left navigation menu the Dashboard tab, the Announcements tab. Further down, you would have access to the Company tab, the Documents tab, and the Reporting tab. And as part of Leave Management, you would have access to the Shared Calendar. So I am logged into the platform as an administrator right now at the moment and have access to all modules within Sage HR. I'll just click on my name and then Settings. On this page is where you would enter your company name and upload your company logo. The logo will also be included in any system generated emails moving forward. Now, I'll just go ahead and click on the dashboard here on the left. Here, you will be able to see any tasks that have been assigned to you or waiting on your approval, like vacation requests or a document that requires your signature. What you would see on your dashboard is dependent on what modules you would have activated in Sage HR platform. Here we can see my upcoming time off, my tasks, my direct reports, quick feedback if anybody had sent me any, who's out of the office today, uh, any wor upcoming work anniversaries, and my personal time off balances. You can always click on the wrench on the top right here and move certain things around to make it look and feel the way you want. Now, there are also cogs which can control the information within. So I'm going to remove toil here, click save. And now all I have is sick leave and holiday. So underneath the dashboard, you would also have access to the shared calendar which is part of leave management, which is once again included with Core HR. Now, if I click in the calendar, I can view all the employees in the screen within my company and see who has booked time off, if any requests are awaiting approval, birthdays, work anniversaries, public holidays, etc. Now, as an administrator, I see everyone, but you can control what your employees see via the permissions tab by clicking your name, settings, permis uh, permissions, and employees. I have it uh, set that employees can see others of their own teams only, but you can have them see everybody if you want, or just their own calendar. Now, under the calendar in the main navigation menu, you have the announcements options. This is another feature of Core Sage HR platform. Announcements is a great way for sending business-wide messaging to all of your employees in one go. And it's really a great way to keep them engaged and to communicate with your staff. Here, I have a couple of announcements. Employees can react via an emoji or comment if they wish. Comments. Now, to create one, you would just click on Add Announcement. You would give it a title put in some content. If I needed an image included, I can click and drag it here or just upload it here and click publish. So further down the list, the next session we will look at is the company module. It's probably the most important one in Sage HR. This is where all of your employees information is held in the database. To upload your employee information is quite straightforward as well. On the top right corner, you would click on import. We have a template available to help you with the successful import of your employees. You can also choose which time off policies the employees would be a part of. We will look into time off policies in a little bit uh, when we go into the time off section. Once you import them, there are other, a few other ways to do this. So for new hires, you can click add here, 
or you can get the plus and click on a new employee. The next thing you would have to do is create teams. So this way we can create our org charts. You would create a team, you would have their managers. And by doing this, it populates your org chart, which could be found right here. Now, you can also click on an employee, let's pick Bill, and view the information about them. It's important to know that you can create your own custom fields if needed and capture whatever data or information your company requires. You can click on the personal tab and you can see their contact details here. And once again, you can create custom fields for this section as well. I can also click on notes. Here I can see that a bill is allergic to peanuts. It could be any kind of employee notes you wish in here. Um, you can also upload documents directly, or maybe it's their signed commission uh, statements um, or whatnot, or maybe it's certifications. You can assign assets. Uh, maybe you have loaner computers or cameras. You can control that via the assets tab. And same with training. You could uh, have some first aid training if needed or whatnot. Now, it's important to have your employees also add their in emergency contacts. Now, if I go back to the employee tab and scroll to the very bottom, I can view Sage HR as Bill. If I go to Bill's view, you can notice that he doesn't have as many sections as I do as he will be logged in as an employee and not the administrator. But what Bill can do is he can go into, into Sage HR and do some self-serving uh, and make some changes. Maybe he's got a new phone number or he's moved and got a new address. Now, let me log out and back into myself. A couple more things that are included in core are the onboarding tab here on the, and, the, and as well as the offboarding tab. Here you can create certain tasks, you can categorize them and create workflows and help some automation. Meaning that, you know, on the first day of a new employee coming in, I want uh, a, a, the system to send an email to their direct manager to um, go welcome them, uh, maybe get the starter pack uh, up and going and, and give that to that new employee. Same thing with offboarding, maybe it's, uh, uh, automation to let them uh, send an email to IT to remove them from uh, company access or to get their computers. As you can see, uh, the core features are pretty powerful and they would help you on your day-to-day -day workflow. Now, let's talk about leave management for a bit. You would click on your name and settings, go to time off, and the first thing you want to do are your time off policies. Um, I've created quite a few here. Once you create them, you can go into settings. Um, so for the, my holiday for full timers, uh, I allocated 196 hours that they accrue annually. You can have it in days if you wish. I have this to reset on a fixed date, which is January 1st, and you cannot carry over any unused time off for this policy. Once you've created your policies, you can go into individual allowances. You can uh, select some time off approvers, meaning it fits your direct managers or maybe uh, team managers can do this, can uh, approve time off. Uh, you can have automated reports sent monthly uh, to, I don't know, maybe it's accounting or payroll uh, for time off policies. And you can set your reminders, meaning that um, a reminder email would be sent to team managers, letting them know that they have some uh, some time off requests awaiting uh, approval. Once you do all this, you can click on the calendar. And here we can see that Donna is away on sick leave, but it hasn't been approved yet. She's also booked some vacation. This has been approved because it's bold. We can see that there's a work anniversary coming up for Richie here. Um, that Bill has an appointment for the full day on the 2nd of December here. Now, if I log in as Bill, 
as the administrator, I can see everybody, but let's see what Bill can see. So once again, you look for Bill, you scroll down to the bottom and view it as him. Now let's click on his dashboard. As you can see, his calendar is much smaller than mine. As the administrator, I see the whole company, but he only sees his team. Thank you very much for your time today. If you have any questions, please email me at metsu.kennedy at sage.com. Thank you.